Well, today we're going to look at the fantastic new handheld thermal device from Pulsar. It's their Telos and it's available as the XP38 or XP50. We have the XP50 today we're testing and it's the LRF version with the laser range finding device. We're going to run through all the features and then we're going to take it out and do some uh, testing out in the field and see how it performs. And it's the first upgradable thermal device from Pulsar. i would be really interested to see how it performs. Well, you have it. This is uh, Pulsar's Telos. It's a very compact, very well made aluminium with waterproof uh, rubber housing here. It's uh, waterproof up to I, uh, IPX7, which is a protection level of one beta for 30 minutes, which is very, very nice. And it's Pulsar's uh, very first upgradable thermal, so you can change the lenses and the internals with the, the sensors um, uh, in, the, in the future, making it future proof, which is very, very nice. You get two versions on the lenses, uh, XP38, which is the wide field, or the XP50. We have the XP50. They have a flip over cover to keep it all the muck out, which is very, very nice here. And that, X, that 50mm lens has a um, f-stop of one. One feature I really like as well on this is you have the fast focus ring here, just behind the lens, which is very nice. You also have the zoom ring here, which is um, two and a half to 10 on the digital scale. And this will give you a detection range up to um, 2000 yards. And that's primarily because of the internals on the sensor, which are incredible on this uh, Telos model. It's a 640 uh, by 480 pixel sensor with a 17 micron um, sensitivity, making fantastically uh, vivid and good contrast images in all types of weather conditions as well. And that is, um, has a milli Kelvin rating of less than 18 which is absolutely fantastic. And this is directly translated to your eye here uh, with the uh, AMOLED display, and that's full HD at 1024 by uh, 768 pixels with your fast focus here so you can get all the salient information uh, on the AMOLED display screen, nice and sharp. Another good feature, quickly detachable battery. You can charge out in a, char in a charger, or you can actually keep it in here, flip over, little catch here, and you can actually recharge by the USB port or you can actually um, export your images or uh, videos as well from that. You also have a strap which is ambidextrous which swivels here so you can go from right to left hand if you want to. And also on top they make it very simple for operation because there's only four buttons uh, on, very fast on off, a central menu which is uh, single or double click and then the orientation here. Now this model is the Telos LRF XP50 and it's called LRF because it's got a laser rangefinder uh, module down below here which makes it very very useful out in the field and you'll see us testing it um, on some deer uh, to great effect. Anyway that in a nutshell is the Telos LRF XP50. Let's go and actually go and test it in the field and see how it operates. The Telos has a really good digital zoom. It's uh, 2.5 to 10. And as you can see here, there's a nice row dough in the wood and you're able to actually zoom in just enough to get a bit of detail to see, well, it's not a buck, it's definitely a doe. And uh, you just see the clarity there in that black hot sequence. And here we're on a parcel of hinds. Again, I'm using the zoom to zoom in on the black hot just to see if there's any small stags in amongst the, uh, the hinds. And so the clarity is excellent. Now we're out looking over a field at uh, 250, 275 yards away. I wasn't sure it's a fox or an illicit head. Now I can see it's clearly a Chinese water deer, which is very, very good on that zoom feature. And then we had, we shot a, a red hind, uh, butchered it, left the carcass out. And what happened? A badger came to eat it. Unbelievable. Zoomed in again, we're on white hot. And I was a bit shaky there on a, a fence post, but fantastic uh, clarity, I think you'll agree. With a single press of the menu button you, and the arrow keys, you can change with the application here from ultra high and then to normal. 
and then also you can also change from the brightness the same features as well as you can with the contrast and making you know a really good overall image holding the main menu button down actually gets you into or access to the main menu and we have the amplification levels here again which you can change and then you can go into the color mode yeah the telos has eight different color modes and here you can actually f uh, flip between them very very easily using the arrow keys and it just gives that little degree of um, separation between the different heat temperatures between the background and the uh, object you're actually looking at and it just changes the clarity on depending on what you actually want to define to be honest with you i mean we tend to use black hot um, quite a lot because it gives more detail i tend to find and white hot is very very good for actually um, picking up an image or an animal against the background uh, initially and here you can see this badger uh, feeding on the uh, carcass of one of the red hinds we'd actually shot earlier and just look how hot the um, the head is of this and this will really show up a great distance and there you have the rainbow effect showing the overall differentiation of heat uh, on the body of the badger you can see actually how well insulated he is actually and, uh, at different angles as it uh, penetrates through to the fur. The smoothing filter option is quite a nice uh, feature to have and we tend to have that on all the time. And what it does, it helps smooth the image as the amplification level increases. So, so basically that, that basically reduces the digital distortion of your image. And we tend to use it because it, it's great on a thermal, thermal imaging device. If you're looking at an object here, like we said, a deer, the antlers are not hot at all. They don't give a thermal signature. But when you put that smoothing filter on, you can clearly see between the, the hot beast and the head of the animal here, they, this actually has got antlers, so that is a stag. On other thermal devices I've used, it's very difficult to see. So hats off to tell us on this. It's very, very good. The picture-in-picture -picture mode is really handy because what it does, it gives you an additional screen just above the wide angle or your main screen, and it's a five um, power or magnification on the original image, and it just gives that finer detail, but it still gives you your wide, wide angle image as well. Really nice and handy to have. Being the LRF model, you obviously have a um, laser range finding of which you can change the reticle types here uh, on your pre uh, depending on your preference. Uh, but what I like is the TPA, which is the target position uh, angle, uh, which on the, gives you a true angle to the image and also the true horizontal distance as well. You know, here we are up in Scotland and a red hind appeared at the edge of the, the field. I wasn't really sure of the range. It was uh, quite dark in the evening and we ping it and you get five picture in picture, five uh, power magnification. And uh, what we get there is 105 uh, or 103 meters with a one degree angle to the target which is all really good information to have as the thermal signature changes throughout the day it's very handy you can use the calibration mode to change and you have settings of uh, automatic semi-automatic or manual well there you go that's i think that's uh, proof of the pudding that the uh, telos uh, laser range finder xp50 really works uh, we were spotting these uh, hinds going across the field along with a little small part of the stacks as well. The early hours of the morning, uh, we were able to uh, track them through the woods, see which direction they were coming. The clarity on this is absolutely fantastic. You can just minutely manipulate the contrast and the smoothing of the actual um, image you're going to see. And it really makes an incredibly good, fine definition in black or white hot or any of the other colors you want to and it's incredibly easy to use but if you turn it on there's only three buttons up here as well even i can actually use it and uh, even with gloves on it's very very intuitive the x the, the 50 lens was giving fantastic range when we were spotting deer right up on the hill at you know seven eight hundred yards no problem at all actually seeing them going through the trees which is quite unusual on a film to actually see through the trees i know it's a bit late on we haven't got much leaves on there but very, very handy. Battery life was practically all night last night until the early mornings this morning. We waited to first light. The hinds were still feeding out in the field. And there you go, that's um, the conclusion of the hunt with actually the new Sauer 505. It worked very, very well and deal, indeed. Very nice bit of kit, well priced and well worth a look at. This Telos is um, great value for money in my experience. And I've tested a lot of uh, thermal imaging equipment, weapon sites and handheld observation. It's, this is one of the nicest ones. It's, uh, I might have to look at my piggy bank too. <laughs>